Hello and welcome to this Lead Quizzes 3 video tutorial on how you can capture website leads on your website using Lead Quizzes. Now in this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the various ways you can use Lead Quizzes on your website to capture leads from the traffic coming into your website. I'm going to be showing you first. First, I'm going to be showing you how you can add your lead quizzes content to the navigation menu of your website, whereby upon click, your audience are taken to your lead quizzes content. Next, I'm going to be showing you how you can add lead quizzes, your lead quizzes content um, as a call to action button um, that is triggered upon click, whereby um, it takes your audience to um, your lead quizzes content. Um, next, I'm going to be showing you how you can add lead quizzes directly to your website's page or um, a designated page on your website. And finally, I'm going to be showing you how you can um, activate your lead quizzes content as a pop-up on your website to be triggered on um, different actions. Okay, now we're gonna start first and foremost with um, how you can add lead quizzes to the navigation menu of your website. But before you get into any of this, make sure you are logged into your lead quizzes tree account. Okay, now very importantly, Make sure that you have your embedded tracking code embedded on all the pages where you intend to have your lead quizzes content embedded or you intend to have a website pop up activated. Now, that is very important to make um, the functionalities work properly. All right. Now, I'm going to be showing you how you can add your embedded tracking code to a WordPress website. So, from your dashboard, you click on embedded tracking. Now in here, you will find your embedded tracking code for this website property. Now you copy that embedded tracking code. Now you head to your website account. So I'm going to head to my WordPress admin panel. Now for WordPress, we have a plugin called the header and photo scripts that makes this code global to the entire pages of your website. All right, so if you're using a website platform that has um, such plugins, you can do this, or you can um, embed this code on the individual place and pages where you intend to have um, a quiz embedded or you want to have a website pop up activated. Now, for WordPress, um, the plugin I already have that um, installed. So if I go to plugins, So you can see header and photo scripts is already activated. Now you can find that um, under settings, header and photo script. If I click on that, now I add my code to the header section. All right. Now doing this makes this code um, active to the entire pages of this particular website. So it makes this code global. So like I said earlier on, if you don't have such plugin um, for the platform you're making use of, you can have this code embedded on all the pages, on the header of all the pages where you intend to have um, a quiz embedded or you intend to have um, a website pop-up activated. All right, so now I've done this, I save it. Now this code is now basically um, global to all the pages of my website. Now that is a very important step in this entire process. Now next, um, I'm gonna show you how, like I said, you can add a quiz to the navigation menu of your website, all right? So we're gonna go to a page. So I created this page, all right? Now I'm making use of Elemental for WordPress to build um, the pages, all right? So with Elemental is quite easy. You can easily add um, a HTML um, section and you just grab your lead quizzes embed code and you paste that in there. All right, so for the embed code, we go back to our lead quizzes. Okay, we go to dashboard. Next, we look for the quiz we want to have embedded. We click on the share icon, which is the fourth icon. Now in here, you can see your embed code, all right? So all you need to do is copy this code. Okay. 
head back to your page and paste the code in there. And there you have it. All right. So now what I did was I have um, the quiz embedded on a designated page on my website. All right. And once I do it, I save it. Okay, now I already have a quiz embedded on the designated page um, on my website. Now next, I'm gonna add this page to the um, navigation menu of my website. Now for what price to do that, you go to appearance. Under appearance, you go to menus. Now under menus, as you can see, I added quizzes to the navigation menu. All right, so I have the home, the blog post, about us, contacts, and then quizzes. All right, so this is how you can add um, your lead quizzes contents to the navigation menu of your website. Simply have the quiz embedded on the designated page and have that page added to the menu under um, appearance settings. Okay, now next, um, I'm going to show you how you can have your quiz um, as a call to action button. All right, so like we said, call to action button um, on your home page of your website, whereby upon click, they are um, directed to your lead quizzes content. Now to do this, there are two ways to do this. You can do this in such a way that when they click on this, they get redirected to this designated page, or you can have a situation where when they click on this, they get redirected to the lead quizzes and generated URL. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how you can do both of that. Now for WordPress, like I said earlier on, we'll make use of Elemental um, to build this. So for Elemental, it's really easy. All I did was I added a call to action button. So as you can see, I added a button and then I added, I linked this button to this page, to the designated page, all right? So you can as well link this to the quiz URL. So I can as well link that call to action to send um, the lead to this URL upon click. All right, so you can have it one of the two ways, either this URL or you can send them to the designated um, page where you have the quiz embedded. All right, so for Elemental, simply add a button, design it, text, tick quiz. Um, the color is green, the link, the designated page, and then I save that. All right, and I also I added a couple of wordings. So for all this, I used Elemental Text um, Editor and as well as Title. Okay, so it's really easy. You do that, you link it upon click to get redirected. Um, and that is one of the ways you can capture um, websites leads from the traffic coming into your website, all right? Now, next, I'm gonna show you how you can embed um, your lead quizzes directly onto um, your home page all right so for elemental it's still straightforward um you just add the html element like i showed you so i added the html element to the section if i click on that um, you can see html code and i have my quiz embedded to the section of my home page okay so this is one of the ways you can have your lead quizzes content on your website you can have it embedded um, directly on the home page and um, once your lead is going through your website they get to see the quiz and they can take it directly on the home page all right now finally i'm going to show you how you can have your quiz um, as a website pop-up on um different pages of your website okay now if you remember i said um to have your website pop-up to work you need to have the embedded tracking code embedded on the page in which you want this pop-up to be activated now for WordPress, I already added the code to um, the, the entire pages. So I added it to the plugin, which made this code global to the entire page of my website. So having done that, I can as well go into my lead quizzes account, go to website pop-up, and I can trigger my quiz to pop up um, on different options all right now i'm going to show you the various options uh, we have on late quizzes now first of all you can trigger um, your quiz to pop up on all the pages where you have your embedded tracking code 
So if I select this and I save it, and I select the behavior of whenever the page loads, and I activate it. Now what this means is, whichever page I have the embed and tracking code, the pop-up should trigger upon the behavior um, of the page loading. Okay, so that means if I head back to my website, that means I should have my pop-up triggered on the home page once it loads. All right, so the blog page, it triggers about this page. It triggers as well the contact us page. It triggers as well. All right. So because I have this um, tracking code global, it triggers on all the pages of my website. All right. And that is because I set the website pop-up to trigger on all the pages that have the embedded tracking code. But likewise, you can set this to trigger on specific pages. So for example, if I want this um, content to trigger or the pop-up to um, show just on the blog page, um, I can have that by selecting trigger on specific page. Then I select an exact match. And then I head to my website. Go to my blog post, copy the URL, and I want an exact match. And I save it. Now, what this means is the quiz will um, trigger only on the blog post page. All right. Now, so we have different. Um, you can we have different um behave different actions in here so you can trigger a specific page we have the exact match the simple match the start with ends with and it contains um the exact match basically if you want it to be triggered that exactly on that page start with um if you want it to trigger on for example it start with lead quizzes dot blog so any page that has lead quizzes dot blog on it um, it triggers on that page or ends with as well um contains for example you put contains blog so any page that has blog on it, it triggers in there and so on. All right now for the behaviors, you can see we have different behaviors. We have um, time delay in seconds, we have the exit intent. So right now we just did the um, page load, whatever the page loads. All right, so now I'm going to show you the time delay in seconds. So say for example, we set this to five seconds and we save it. If we head back to Our website now we're on the blog post. Remember, we said we want this to trigger now just on the blog post, and we did an exact match for that. So, um, refresh this now. We said five seconds, and there you have it. So, after five seconds, um, you have your pop up. All right, now next, I'm going to show you how you can trigger this um, on the behavior of exit intent. So exit intent, let's set this to medium and save it. So this means basically when the um, lead is trying to leave um, that particular page on your website, you want the pop-up to be triggered, All right? So we're still gonna do this for the blog post because that's where we said um, this pop-up should be triggered on. So refresh. All right, so exit intent, that means when he's trying to exit the website, it pops up. So you can have your um, pop-up on that behavior as well, depending on the goal you're trying to achieve. All right, and finally, we have this on the scroll percentage. All right, so for example, you have on a really long page and you wanna say trigger this on a 75%. So when the scroll down 75% of the page, you wanna have that triggered. So I'm going to select that so I can save it. 
let's test that. So refresh the blog post. Okay, so we said 75% of scroll. So we scroll down to 75% and we expect to have the website up triggered and there you have it. All right, so these are the different behaviors you can have on the pop-up um, on your website on different pages. Okay, so um, to recap, we spoke about how you can have your lead quizzes um, as on the navigation menu of your website. I also showed you how you can have it as a call to action. I also show you how you can have it on a embedded on the page on your website. And finally, I showed you the different behaviors in which you can have your lead quizzes. Okay. So let's go back to the page. Okay, so recap, you can have this as nav on the navigation menu. All right, so you can have your quiz in there. And to do that, all you need to do is have your quiz embedded on a designated page. Afterwards, um, you add on that page to the navigation menu of your website. Next, you can have your quiz um, as a call to action that triggers upon click, um, whereby when they click on this, it redirects them to either the lead quizzes um, URL or it redirects them to a URL where you have your quiz embedded, like this one, all right? Next, you can have your quiz embedded directly on the page or on your homepage on your website. Right, so whereby when the, your audience are going through your website page and they get to the quiz in there and they can take the quiz and continue down on your website. And finally, you can have your quiz um, activated as a website pop up um, on different behavior um, on your website. Okay, so we spoke about um, the different behaviors the, whenever the page loads, the exit intent, the scroll percentage, and so on. All right, um, have a great day.